Hello and welcome. This course is entitled Sheet Creation and Indexing with Named Boundaries Within a Civil Workflow. When working with sheets, tracking and ordering can be a tedious and error-prone manual process. Thankfully, with the new innovations found in the MicroStation Connect Editions Documentation Center, the solution is Simplified Sheet Indexing, where from the Sheet Index tab of the Explorer, you can perform sheet indexing tasks, such as manage project documentation and drawing properties. For example, sheet numbering or sheet prefixes or suffixes for the sheet models within the sheet index. Once sheets are added to a sheet index, you can print all or a subset of the sheets by clicking the Print Organizer icon in the Explorer's Sheet Index tab. Explorer seamlessly integrates with Print Organizer in a variety of ways to make it easy for you to print your project data. You can create a table for your sheet index. By clicking the Place Table icon, this starts the Place Table tool to place the index sheet. An index sheet contains properties of all the sheets in the sheet index that is placed as a table. Once placed, a report definition of the index sheet is also created in the reports dialog. As your project grows, any new sheets that are added to the index will dynamically update the sheet index table. So, with sheet indexing, this enables the use of a central location to index sheets and control the number, order, and properties of sheets and makes publishing of deliverables easier resulting in a faster process of creating and delivering well-organized sheet sets. And, as you move into the sheet composition stage, a pain that you may encounter is that laying out drawings onto sheets is a time-consuming and error-prone process that is done differently by everyone on a team and can cause inconsistencies and delays in getting projects delivered. Fortunately, with the new innovations found in the MicroStation Connect Edition's Documentation Center, the solution is the Accelerated Sheet Creation and Layout. Here, you can create multiple sheets in a single operation. The automated layout can be based on scale, location, and a long path. Once generated, the sheet layouts can be modified for fine adjustments. This enables a common approach to sheet layout and creation to enable teams to consistently build drawings and facilitate higher quality sheet sets. You will find that this feature found in the MicroStation Connect Edition's Documentation Center will improve the consistency and quality of your sheet layout. During this session, you will learn about creating and managing sheet models through the Sheet Index tab of the Explorer dialog placing named boundaries using the by two points method and along a path array method, adjusting the extents and positioning of named boundaries, generating new sheet models that contain the contents of named boundaries, working with reports to create a custom tailored index sheet, formatting and placing a drawing sheet index as a table, and printing sheets in a sheet index. Before you begin, milestones. The exercises are meant to be performed in sequence as they appear in this workbook or as individual standalone exercises. You can start any exercise within a subdirectory of the dataset called milestones. There are files named for each individual exercise and you can begin by using that particular file. Copy the desired milestone files into the dataset's root folder to begin. Compatibility notes. Where it applies, this workbook contains compatibility notes intended to assist in the transition to MicroStation from AutoCAD. 
these notes are formatted to stand out from other text in the body of the document. Compatibility notes are formatted as illustrated. AutoCAD and Real DWG are trademarks or registered trademarks of Autodesk Incorporated. All other brands and products are trademarks of their respective owners. These training materials may be used for informational and educational purposes only. So you are ready to load the data set for your course and start learning. The first thing to learn is that all the MicroStation Connect Edition courseware relies upon a very specific training workspace entitled Bentley Connect Training. It is typically installed on the C drive but could be located anywhere you desire. This workspace provides a location for the drawings, CAD standard files, and other configuration items that are specific and sometimes unique to the various Bentley training offerings. It is important to note that the workspace need only be created one time. For subsequent training classes, simply unzip the dataset to the C drive, merging the contents of the new dataset with that of any existing datasets. When the MicroStation Connect Edition is started and the Bentley Connect Training Workspace is selected, these new work sets will automatically appear in the work set list. For more information on the workspace and loading work sets for training, go to learn.bentley.com and see the course before you begin configuring the dataset for a MS Connect Edition course. You can click download to download and review the contents of the zip file which contains the PDF of the practice workbook. If you would rather watch a one minute video you can review the lecture as well. There are three steps to begin your training. The first being to create the workspace. Remember you need only do this once. Download and unzip your particular course dataset from the practice workbook downloaded from the Learn server. Unzip the file to the root of the C drive. The zip file contains the directory structure to put the data in the correct locations. Start the MicroStation Connect Edition and set the workspace to Bentley Connect Training and the work set to your particular training course. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.